Hello there everyone, Lord of Shadows here to give you a new update about One Piece Film Gold. Here I am to give you another One Piece Film Gold update video. So as you know, like few, this few days ago we found out some, uh, that it came out some kind of new information not only about Kill the Zora himself but also his crewmates including their names. I'll be information about that, and of course, a little bit information about Guild of Zoro's main ship, including his name. So, with all being said, let's begin. Okay, so before I start with the crew, I just only wish to say a few things about Grand Tesoro because, okay, he's okay. After seeing his design, I look being more clearly because in the first picture that I show that I met, that I put in the my first One Piece from Gold update, it was really foggy, so I couldn't see it clearly. But now, when I see clearly the picture and everything, I can really understand why it's called uh, Grand Tesoro, which technically in Italian and Spanish means Great Treasure, and after seeing the design, I can really guess, you know, why it's called like that, because, you know, it's, because, the, like I said, the name is very classic, very, very classic, you know. The, what, the other thing is, I wish to say that this, actually, in the entire One Piece universe, this is actually the third ship that doubles as a location, not like the first one uh, being Trailer Bark, and the second one being you know, the island ship that actually was is owned by Golden Lion Shiki in the One Piece film Strong World. I mean, I mean, okay, I mean, I'm not ca okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm fine with that, you know, because we actually didn't see an island type ship for a long time, you know. I mean, okay, when I, talk, when I say island ship, or should, or should I say location ship, whatever, you know. I mean, while truly bark and island ship are islands like converted into ships. Grand Tesoro is actually a ship that is also considered as a country, so it's a big difference be like between between the other two. You know, when well, about the information, okay, it also acknowledged, you know, uh, like I said here, it, as a, some kind of independent state by the world government, like due to the Zoro's wealth, who actually also confirms that this Guild of Zoro guy, it's very a very rich man, and they also like classify it as uh, dematerial, dematerialized zone, and also it, re it is referred, like I said, to as the moving country of dreams. Which, like I said in my first video, you know. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't watch my One Piece Film Gold up, uh, old, uh, or should I say, first update video, I'm gonna put in uh, down below is uh, a link so you can see it by yourself. Okay, so like I said in my first video, when I when he said when he called moving country dreams, which like I said in my first video, that the, that this ship looks like some kind of fucking floating Las Vegas. So it makes so with all with all being also being uh, with that being said, it makes sense why it's called like that. You know, when we talk about the design, okay, when we talk about the design of this ship, okay, a large portion of the Grand Tesoro, like I said, is composed of gold, and its bow resembles uh, like a cruise ship. It, what the only difference is that it is much more massive in a scale. Okay, the entire ship, like I was saying, in the first uh, update, is ten kilometers long, and also it, it has a city built inside with no roof covering it. Uh, and the stern is a large circle, like with a tall golden tower in the center, which actually re uh, resembles something between the Tower of, T of Toronto ca in Canada and the Eiffel Tower in, in France. Which actually, when we talk about the circle in it, that the circle that, that, that this tower is in the middle is actually a design. Uh, design is like is actually designed to look some uh, uh, like a roulette wheel, which is actually pretty cool. And of course, you know, in the back, in the very back of the ship, is like this some kind of large green arena. It's actually designed to look like a car table, which also is pretty cool, you know. I mean, if it is, if it, if it is built up to be at, as an entertainment seat, as a, a ship of entertainment, then it makes sense why why they design like that. I mean, it's pretty cool because, like I said, it, it, with that, with all these designs, it resemble like a floating Las Vegas. I mean, literally like a floating Las, Las Vegas. Okay, so with all the information being said, okay, the one thing I now I can see the ship clearly. Okay, so it appears like this ship is divided in three parts. Okay, the first one is the, like the entrance to the entrance of the ship, including like this some kind of arena type port where you like left left your ship. Then of course you have like this small downtown. If I yeah, yeah it's called uh, downtown. Then of course the second part is like this the like the the main part of the ship, like you know all these buildings which I suppose are all casinos. And the third part is like this big. Arena that is like it looks like some kind of uh, looks like a car table. I mean, like I said, the old designs. I only have to say it's very actually very cool, very cool because not only that is main gold, but also like all the design. Like the, like I said, the the, the second part that is designed you know, as a as a roulette wheel and the arena as a kind of a car table. And of course, like you know, I mean, 
it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. But like I said, it's like a fucking floating Las Vegas. That's all I have to say about the ship. The, and the, uh, but like I said, the design, the design is actually really, really cool. Okay, with, all, with the ship being said, let's go with the crewmates. I will speak with the last one to the first one because, I, like I always said, it's better saying the best part for last. Okay, so the first one is a girl named Karina, which actually in Italian, in, in Italian pronunciation is actually Karina, which actually means pretty. So this Karina girl is like a some kind of, some kind of a songstress who works on the Grand Tesoro, and with with the design and everything, it lo she looks like some kind of a slim woman, like with this purple hair that she and also she wears some kind of a backless black dress, you know, with a large slit in the middle, and a red like this fairly like cloak and a flower in her hair. When I, talk about, uh, when, I talk about, when I found about information about her abilities and powers, he only says that Karina has a beautiful singing voice. So what? I mean, so what does it mean? So like she's a like a very you know very good singer, or or she has some kind of double for connected with singing. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know because the only thing what it says right now and right now is that he she has a beautiful singing voice. So it mean it can mean a lot of things. So, I don't know, I mean, really, I don't know what, 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 what it's going to be. Or, like, she has some kind of dull fruit, or she really is a really good singer. I mean, I don't know. But the one thing I'm really sh I mean, really sure, I mean, when I saw her designs, I mean, the look on her face and everything, I don't believe she, she's going to be, like, pure evil. I don't think she's going to be pure evil, because, I, I mean, maybe at the beginning she's going to be, you know, the Zoros team. But I don't actually see her, you know, like, the, I actually see her, you know, not, not only being all the time with, uh, with, the Zoro steam, but I I actually see her in like until the end of the movie that she's gonna change or even maybe h help destroy it. I mean I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It just I mean I just jump into conclusions, but I'm just saying. Okay, so the next one is Mr. Tanaka. This uh, proportion like this uh, very small man with this <laughs> disproportionately like large head with like these two uh, like this disproportionately like small legs and two horns. Which technically, like it says here, Mr. Tanaka is the security guard of Grand Tesoro. I mean, we're seeing his design. He more, he, I mean, he, he should be more like some kind of a clown than, than a security guard. I mean, I mean, what can I say? You know what they say, you know, like, looks, looks can be deceived. So, in this description, you know, about his appearance, and the appearance of the, like I said, Tanaka is this very small man with this disproportionately like large head. And this proportion, like uh, smaller legs, that he also wears some kind of a black suit with a green and like a green green bow tie, as well as a white stripe like uh, on the left side. And also, I can see that he's wearing like a black and white hood covers, like these, like I said, two horn shaped appendages on his head. And of course, like it, it, he has like this green star on the hood, which also includes the, these stars on his left and right arm. Well. And also, I said uh, this Mr. Tanaka guy has a telephone because in, in when we talk about abilities and powers, he said that being responsible for security of Grand Tesoro, Mr. Tanaka is trusted by Gildo, Gildo, Gildo Tesoro to keep the ship safe. Okay, so that's one thing. But believe me, when I first read this information, I felt like this guy. I mean, but he re I mean, he looks funny, but I like it. But like I said, beginning. I mean the design, or to say uh, how it looks like, can be really uh, can be easily deceived, you know. Well, also uh, this Mr. Tanaka guy has a double for this called Nuke Nuke Nomi, which, like it says here, the, the, the Tanaka ate the Nuke Nuke Nomi, a double food that greatly aids him in his work. And also with all his weapons, he, like I say, wields some kind of a small flint, uh, flintlock pistol. And it was always dealt through. Okay, we don't know which type, or Paramecia, or Zorn, or Logia, but I, but I truly believe it is, is Paramecia. I mean, logically, it's gonna be a Paramecia. But the meaning of Nuke, which I believe, which I'm, if I'm correct in translating, in translating it, it means escape. So, what the hell is Delphus, Delphus, does? Well, like, like giving him the power to escape? I mean, it, Okay, I mean, for now, I, uh, for now, I can only, you know, categorize Delphu as a very stupid one. But, I mean, even Delphus can be deceived with, their, with the names and everything. I mean, we're going to see, because for now, the only thing we know a little bit about Delphu and his name. We don't even, we don't know the type of it, and we don't actually know, like, if he has some kind of special techniques or whatever. I mean, I don't know. So, for now, it's called Nuke Nuke Nomi, and in Japanese means escape. I mean... 
I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, for me, for now, it looks a very, like a very stupid devil fruit, you know. Okay, moving on. So now we have uh, this like bodybuilder like type, you know, guy who his name is Dice. Also, another original, very classic name, Dice. Right, you know. <laughs> and a beginning, frankly enough, when I see his design, I felt like he's gonna be like some kind of bodyguard, you know, or a uh, security, you know, fro, you know, fro guys, you know, out of the casinos or something, you know. But it appears like they are dice, this dice, cool Hogan type of uh, Frankie type of guy, is a dealer who works on Grand Tesoro. Which frankly is very odd that he has a copiation as a dealer. I mean, uh, I mean, fair enough. I mean, his design, and everything. I mean, wow. So, like I say, his design, I say he's like this thickest man like with his enormous torso, you know, with his, like, this kind of a black coat, which he also, he also has on his uh, left side some kind of, uh, this white strip, which also, when we talk about his left side, he also has on his shoulder, on his black, on his uh, left shoulder, he has, you know, these four stars, and when we talk about his other, his, uh, also his shirt is something like tiger type, you know, gray and black, you know, shirt, also like he has this, like, Necklace that is uh, these green pearls with a uh, star tattoos on his neck, and of course, you know, he has this blonde, like uh, blonde beard, and of course, uh, mustache naturally. Oh, and I, I don't forget to mention, you know, he has this also, he has this, it appears like some kind of a wrestler type, you know, belt with a star in the, in the middle, and very small legs, tiny small legs, it's like all other, you know, characters in One Piece. And we'll talk about his knuckles. Oh, I mean. Fair enough, that's also one of the proofs that, that his name is Dice. Because his knuckles resemble like a fucking dice. In his right arm, he has a, a, knuckle, a dice type knuckle that has like uh, has number 3. The other one has number 5. I mean, it's lo that's, I can, with that I can really understand why it's called Dice. With all his abilities and powers, you know, it, it, it only says that Dice muscles helps him like bring games like to the casino. Uh, brings games to the casino visitors. He also said to have a some kind of a special power, although what is it is currently unknown. So what? He has some kind of a double fruit or something? I, mean, I don't know, no. It's still a mystery, but we'll see. We'll see. When about weapons, it appears like a, like I said, this uh, like I said before, the, the dice wears these black and purple brass knuckles on his hands, which like I said resembles uh, uh, resembles dice, uh, with one having like I said three circles and the other one having five. You know. And like I said, dice. Like I said, everybody, like everyone on Earth knows, it, dice are a common item in many casino games and such as craps. You know, but I have to say, the, the design, his design, you know, of dice actually is pretty cool. You know, you know, Frank, you know, you know with the face, maybe he looks a little uh, sm somehow like Hulk Hogan, but with the designs of you know his uh, body and everything, it resembles a lot of Frank, of Frank, a cyber Frank. I mean, I have to, I guarantee it, it resembles, it resembles a Frankie. Okay, moving on. The last, the last one, the next one we have. Sorry, the next one we have, Baccarat, which uh, practically I like is this uh, slim woman like with l red hair, a large like earrings. Also, like I say, she also wears a black dress with a white uh, stripe on the left, and wears also a belt with a star-shaped you know buckle. So this Baccarat girl works as a concierge on the Grand Tesoro, which is actually pretty interesting. And it appears like her personality is said to have a classy attitude, you know? So, beware, boys of Baccarat. <laughs> also, we find out that she also has a fruit, which actually is called Raki Raki Nomi, which actually gave her the ability to change the fate of anyone she touches. Touches, I mean, uh, like what? You know what? Their personality, their ambitions, their dreams, uh, their future, I mean... Uh, Fate, like, fate, I mean, when we talk about fate, what actually she meant by that, you know? Because, I mean, it's still a mystery, because actually we don't know nothing about, you know, this dog fruit. Only, after, like I said, also Rocky means lucky. So, like I said, what has to, what do you mean by change the fate of anyone she touches? So, like what, like I said, their ambitions, their personality, uh, their goals, their dreams, or their lucky, I mean, what? I mean, I'm, I'm really interested in her, in her in Delphur. Also, like I said, we have a conclusion that her Delphur is a Paramecia one, you know? I mean, logically, it is a Paramecia, okay? Also, one thing I really rem forgot to tell you, don't forget to tell you, Baccarat, that actually she, uh, she, uh, her name is Baccarat, it also, you know, like I said, she is named after Baccarat, which actually, if you don't know, it's a car game played at casinos. And the other thing I really, now I figured out, you know, is if you put B-A-C out of her name, 
the ore remains carat, which actually is a measure of weight of precious metals such as you know such as gold. You know, it's actually also pretty cool. So about uh, so the end, yeah, yeah. The ending. I only wish to say that her design, you know, is actually very normal. But I have to say, she, like Karina, she's very hot. But also, I can picture her as a older as an older woman than older than Karina. You know, but pretty hot. Oh, and don't forget to mention she also has a tattoo or some kind of a star on her left leg. You know, that's actually dressed in purple. And also has black gloves, you know. But I'm really interested to see mostly her dolphin. What actually she what actually they meant about that she has the ability to change the fate of anyone she touches. I mean I really want to know what what they actually meant by that, you know? And the last one Gildo Tesoro. Right. Okay. I'm in way, you know. Okay, fair enough. Can I say one thing fair enough? I know that it's out of the ma anime and manga world, but I have to say that there his design Remind me a lot, you know, his hair being green. Okay, a little, a little bit darker green, and his. I know, I know his. You know, his um, suit is pink, but but I have to say, it remind me a little bit of the Joker in from Batman. Uh, really remind me of the Joker a little bit, a little bit. But let's move on. So, Gil Zorro, he also known as the Casino King. Who is, like I said, who we all know is in charge of the Grand Tesoro, the largest entertainment city in the world. So we, we, his appearance actually is pretty simple. So he has this kind uh, of star type, you know, uh, you know, star type, you know, earrings. You know, he has this cool, like, classy, you know, glasses. You know, uh, pink, a pink suit with a uh, some uh, red or black flower in it. You know, with a star in it. Even if a lot of people think that he is a sheriff, but uh, being, you know. The the uh, the leader of the Grand Tesoro, the entertainment and everything show business. I don't think he's a he's a sheriff, you know. But on his face, I can see he is evil. Okay, that's one thing. Oh, okay, about his abilities and powers, you know, it says here that Zoro, like I said, is in charge of the Great uh, Grand Tesoro, which, like I repeat again, is the largest entertainment city in the world, giving the authority of over everyone on it. His wealth accounts for twenty percent of all the money in the world and has made him a very influential person. Hmm. So he is very, 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 very wealthy. Just the right husband for Nami. Really. <laughs> to rob. <laughs> he's also he's not restrained by the world government who recognizes his city as independent, which we already we already know that, and even and even obey his orders, sometimes due to his vast wealth. Fancy that. Really, fancy that, you know? I'm, I'm really interesting to see this man, this guy. I mean, he, he okay, his wealth accounts for 20% of all the money, which technically is Barry, you know? And he's not restrained by the rural government, and some of the rural government obey him, you know? But, and of course, you know, for him being I mean, rich and everything, you know? But I really, I'm, with, with reading that, I'm really interested to see this guy. And also, let's talk about his devil fruit. He appears like his devil fruit is Goru Goru Nomi, which actually for now his powers are currently unknown, but I found the meaning of Goru, which technically in English is gold. So Grand Tesoro being somehow made in gold. He has the Padello fruit that this has connection with gold also too. So okay, he has okay, I'm jumping to the conclusion you know uh, right now, but it looks like that Guild, if, if I'm okay, it's, I'm jumping to the conclusions right now, but I think that that's the way I see it. That his dull fruit, I have, I have a belief that if that his dull fruit, you know, has the power if everything he touches turns to gold. I mean, maybe it can be something else, but you know, I, I'm just get, I'm trying to jump to the conclusions because we don't know actually nothing about not even the type of his dull fruit, but I actually also think that it is paramecia, you know, but okay, we don't be okay. But I have to say, you know, about his powers, appearance, you know, and what he does, you know, and his dull fruit that has a meaning of gold. I'm really interesting to see this guy. I'm really, really interesting to see him, you know. You know, about his powers, you know, him, you know, in person. I'm really, really interesting to see him, you know. He's, you know, what kind of caliber of person he really is, you know. So, with all being said, here I am done. This all the updated information, you know, about one, new information about One Piece from Gold, so here I am done.
Read the video, comment, subscribe, info the and what you personally think about these characters. What do you think about Guilty Zoro, Baccarat, Dice, Mr. Tanaka, Karina, about their own characters, about this little bit of information about it. What do you think about Grand Tesoro? What do you expect for these characters? What do you think about this Guilty Zoro's double for this? You know, he also has connection with gold. Drop a like, we appreciate it. Peace everyone, have an awesome rest of the day. Lord of Shadows, like always, signing off. See you next time.